Welcome to the BioWhisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of base editors. If you are new here, welcome you to join us where we as a group of retired professors sharing videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. Introducing Base Editors Base Editors are a newer class of genome editing tools that allow scientists to make precise changes to the DNA sequence at a single base level. They work by using a combination of enzymes and guide RNAs to convert one specific base to another without cutting the DNA strand. Unlike traditional genome editing methods such as CRISPR-Cas9, which introduce double-stranded breaks in the DNA, base editors introduce only single-stranded breaks, which leads to less DNA damage. It's precise and targeted editing. Nucleus-based genome editing strategies hold great promise for the treatment of medical disorders. However, a major drawback of these approaches is the generation of potentially harmful double-strand breaks, or DSBs, as discussed. Unlike traditional genome editing methods that rely on cutting both strands of the DNA, base editors introduce changes at a single base level by using a combination of enzymes and guide RNAs. This allows for more targeted and precise changes to the genome, reducing the risk of off-target effects. Base editors have been developed for a wide range of organisms and cell types and have been used to correct genetic mutations that cause diseases such as sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis and many others. Currently with base editing a CRISPR-Cas9 based genome editing technology that allows the introduction of point mutations in the DNA without generating DSPs. Two major classes of base editors have been developed, citidine-based editors or CBs allowing C to T conversions and adenine-based editors or ABs allowing A to G conversions. This positions base editing as a promising therapeutic strategy for genetic diseases caused by point mutations, such as many blood disorders and might be more effective than approaches based on homology-directed repair, which is moderately efficient in hematopoietic stem cells, the target cell population of many gene therapy approaches. Advantages of base editing in medical diseases one of the advantages of base editing is that it can be performed in hematopoietic cells, which are the cells that give rise to all the different blood cells in our body. This is important because many blood disorders are caused by genetic mutations in hematopoietic cells. Additionally, base editing can also be used to target disease-causing genes or genetic regulatory regions allowing scientists to inactivate them. This can be a powerful way to treat blood disorders, such as cancer, that are caused by the overactivity of specific genes. By using base editors to correct these mutations, scientists hope to be able to provide a cure for many blood diseases, such as sickle cell anemia, beta thalassemia, and others. Challenges with allogeneic HSCT Given that the vast majority of human genetic diseases are due to point mutations. In fact, amongst the 50,000s or more characterized human disease-causing variants described in ClinVar, more than 33,000s are point mutations. For example, beta hemoglobinopathies are due to more than 300 mutations affecting the beta-globin gene, resulting in red blood cell defects and anemia. Allogeneic hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, HSCT, is currently the only curative treatment for many blood genetic disorders, such as sickle cell anemia and thalassemia. However, this treatment is limited by the availability of suitable donors, typically a sibling, who has a compatible blood type and human leukocyte antigen match. 
the lack of suitable donors can significantly delay treatment and in some cases, may make it impossible. Another major limitation of allogeny HSCT is the risk of graft rejection and graft-versus-host disease, GVHD. Graft rejection occurs when the recipient's immune system recognizes the donor cells as foreign and attacks them, while GVHD occurs when the donor's immune cells attack the recipient's healthy cells. Both of these complications can cause serious health problems and even death. Furthermore, transplantation also carries a high risk of infection and other complications due to the need for immunosuppression. These limitations of allogeny HSCT have led to the search for alternative therapies, including gene therapy and genome editing, that are able to correct the genetic defect without the need for a donor or the risks associated with transplantation. Base editing, as mentioned before, has shown promise in this regard as a precise and efficient alternative to traditional genome editing methods and offers the potential to circumvent the limitations of allogeny HSCT. Due to the limitations of allogeny HSCT, ex vivo gene therapy approaches that use autologous self transplantation of genetically corrected hematopoietic stem cells HSCs have been developed as a safer and permanent therapeutic solution. One of the most promising methods of gene therapy is using CRISPR-Cas9 as a tool for correcting genetic mutations in the HSCs, which can then be transplanted back into the patient. However, as previously mentioned, a major drawback of this approach is that it generates potentially harmful double-strand breaks DSBs, in the genome. Base editors are highly competent. Base editors, on the other hand, have been developed as an alternative to traditional CRISPR-Cas9 based genome editing, allowing for the introduction of point mutations in the DNA without generating DSBs. Thus far, it has demonstrated its potential as a promising tool for ex vivo gene therapy that can correct genetic mutations without the risk of inducing harmful DSBs, reducing the chance of chromosomal instabilities and in cancer. Moreover, it thus means that around 60% of the pathogenic point mutations can be potentially corrected by base editors. Now, with different base editors, have been created allowing base conversions in a variety of target regions. Base editors are composed by a catalytically date Cas9, known as the Cas9, or a Nikase Cas9, and Cas9, fused to a deaminase and guided by a single guide RNA, sgRNA, to the locus of interest. The catalytically date Cas9 recognizes a specific sequence named protospacer adjacent motif, PAM, and the DNA unwinds thanks to the complementarity between the sgRNA and the DNA sequence usually located upstream of the PEM, also known as the protospacer. Then, the opposite DNA strand is accessible to the deaminase that converts the bases located in a specific DNA stretch of the protospacer. In fact, despite the high efficiency, CRISPR-Cas9 treatment of human hematopoietic stem or progenitor cells induces a DNA damage response that can lead to apoptosis. Moreover, base editors accurately convert specific bases in a wide range of cell types and at different stages along the cell cycle. On the contrary, nucleus-based correction of genetic mutations via homology-directed repair is limited mainly to dividing cells. Compared to homology-directed repair-based strategies, base editing is a promising therapeutic tool to precisely correct genetic mutations as it avoids gene disruption by non-homologous and joining associated with failed homology-directed repair-mediated gene correction. Finally, this double-strand breaks-free strategy can potentially allow simultaneous targeting of multiple regions in the genome without generating chromosomal rearrangements such as large deletions and translocations. Closing Perspectives
Yes, base editing has the potential to be a powerful therapeutic tool for the treatment of blood diseases. Because base editors can make precise changes to a specific location in the genome without introducing DSPs, they can be used to correct genetic mutations that cause blood disorders or to target disease-causing genes or genetic regulatory regions. While base editors have the potential to revolutionize the way we treat genetic diseases, it is still an emerging technology and further research is needed to fully understand their safety and effectiveness. With that said, base editors are considered as a promising new tool in genome editing and show a lot of potential for medical and agricultural application. In summary, base editing offers several advantages over traditional genome editing methods that rely on designer nucleases. The reduced generation of double-stranded bricks is a significant advantage, making base editing one of the safest genome editing tools available. This reduced risk of DNA damage allows for safe genetic manipulation of P53 sensitive cells, such as hematopoietic stem cells, and the potential treatment of genetic blood disorders. Another advantage of base editing is its ability to multiplex editing of two or more loci, which has shown promising results in blood disorders. However, it is important to note that challenges still remain for base editing, such as off-target effects on DNA and RNA. Overall, base editing represents a promising new therapeutic tool that can provide cures for many blood diseases. While the technology still requires further development and optimization, it has the potential to revolutionize the way we treat these debilitating disorders and bring hope and relief to many patients.